First, I'm going to analyze the problem. I'm going to read the problem and visualize or make a movie in my mind about what is happening in the story. Six fish were swimming in the pond. I can see six fish swimming around and around and around. Two more fish swam to join them. Oh, so two more fish started swimming too. How many fish are swimming in the pond? What information do I already know after reading the problem? Well, I know that there were six fish swimming in the pond. And then I remember that two other fish started swimming. Two more fish swam to join them. So we have two fish that came over and started to swim with them too. What is the problem asking me to find? Hmm. The question says, how many fish are swimming in the pond? So I want to know about the fish swimming in the pond. Not at my cousin's house, not jumping, not eating, but fish swimming in the pond. So I want to know all about fish swimming. Next, I'm going to plan and solve. What tools can I use to solve this problem? Something that we use in the classroom all the time is counters, and we can use counters to act out the problem. So there were six fish. There's three, four, five, six fish, and then two more fish swam to join them. One, two. So did I add or did I subtract? Well, I had six counters. I joined two more counters. That means I added six plus two is eight. I'm going to draw a picture of the story I acted out. Those are the six fish and here are the two that came and they were all in the pond. Now I'm going to justify and evaluate my answer. I can verify my answer on a number line. There were six fish swimming, so here's my six fish. Two more joined them. One, two. My answer is correct. Six plus two does equal eight.